Hey, it's Eric here with Cat Avenue, and today I'm just going to take you through a quick comparison between AviCAD and AutoCAD. So, um, I'm going to try to keep it real short here, but uh, before I get started, I wanted to kind of go over why you would want to choose AviCAD. Um, so, AviCAD is about 90% of what AutoCAD is. And it uses all the same command sets, and it also uses the same uh, file types, the DWG file type. And so it allows you to share the DWG file between even AutoCAD and some of the other uh, CAD programs out there. But I think the biggest reason why you would want to look at AviCAD is probably for a few reasons. So, of course, first and foremost, everybody is concerned about cost and AviCAD is about a quarter of the cost of what you would pay for AutoCAD and uh, that even goes for the subscription so if you go to the uh, Autodesk site and compare some of the prices against AviCAD you're going to find that um, but secondly it's a great program to get started if you're a beginner or even if you're intermediate or expert so it doesn't really matter what level you're at uh, we have all kinds of help videos for you. Uh, we can take you through um, almost any example. Just send us what you're working on and we can help you with that. We're really proud of the support that we give our users. We serve um, lots and lots of CAD users worldwide and in the US. So keep us in mind when you're shopping for your CAD product and try our product out we, have, we offer a 30-day trial our support is totally free as well uh, whenever you need it um, we do offer priority support uh, for phone calls and uh, and uh, you know virtual uh, screen shares and all that kind of stuff so that's available now talking about subscriptions a lot of people they don't like subscriptions so we offer a perpetual license just like AutoCAD used to do but doesn't do anymore um, and that prevents you from having to worry about monthly fees or yearly fees you just pay for one license you can use that license for as long as you want and then um, when it's time to upgrade if you want to uh, you know the upgrades are about 40% uh, of what you would normally pay for uh, for AviCAD so the final reason why you would want to look at AviCAD is because uh, we offer all kinds of tools that are inside our program and you don't have to go hunting for a certain tool and then uh, you know add it on and so forth. In fact, we provide you with a, a tool called MetQ, which is our flagship engineering product. And this product's been around since the late 90s and it's proven uh, to automate a lot of your um, uh, drafting when it comes to uh, creating piping, ducting, and structural. Right now we're looking at the the ribbon that runs across. Now if you look at AutoCAD ribbon, you're going to find something very very similar in that uh, you know it's got the tabs just like AutoCAD does. So if you go into AviCAD we got the insert annotate and 3D tools and all these tabs just like AutoCAD. Now they're going to be slightly different. They're not going to be completely the same, but they're about 90% of what you would find in AutoCAD. And the other thing is uh, the command, all the commands are the same. Um, and so if you type a command in the command bar, it's going to be the same as you would find in AutoCAD. Now that's great if you're learning CAD too, because there's so many videos out there that can walk you through certain commands if, if we don't have it in our library. But again, if you have uh, issues with that, just let me know. So there's a lot of things to go through here, but I just wanted to hit the big ones. Um, so we got the properties palette like AutoCAD does and the tool palette here, which you can customize and you can add commands and blocks into. And the same thing goes, you know, in AutoCAD, it's the same kind of thing. You got the tool palette here, then you got the properties here. So everything is pretty much the same. Um, we also can, um, just like AutoCAD, if you go into the, um, the settings tab here, you can bring in your, um, all your aliases that you would normally use, um, and you can import them, export them. 
And for those of you that don't know what aliases are, they are simple shortcuts to get you to common commands, and you can customize those too as well. And that really helps you out with uh, your productivity for sure. Um, we also have the express tools here, uh, and you're not gonna find that, I don't think, in LT. You won't find 3D in LT either, so keep that in mind, uh, LT still is four times as much money as uh, you know the subscriptions you'll find at AviCAD. So lastly, I want to take you through the uh, import options. So here you can import all these file types listed here. I'll zoom down on them for you so you can see those. And then for export, you can export it to these file types as well. So. Um, our 3D functionality is a lot like AutoCAD 2 where, you know, you can um, zoom into different views and uh, manipulate your model much the same way as you would do in AutoCAD. And uh, we do use AutoCAD like solids. And so when you're exporting your file to AutoCAD or saving it to a DWG, those uh, solids are going to come through just fine. So they're all normal AutoCAD objects. So I really uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Um, one thing I did want to ask you, um, what is it that you're struggling right now in your CAD life? <laughs> so what would that be? Uh, you're, <clears throat> you're a beginner, you're trying to learn CAD. Maybe you're struggling with a few things in CAD and you're more intermediate, or you're an advanced CAD user maybe you want to uh, change out of AutoCAD or there might be some problem that you're having. I want to know what that problem is and if you wouldn't mind sharing that with me because that helps me a lot um, be a better um, support guy and make videos and so forth and so on. So I hope you guys have a great day and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.